Welcome back, guys, to another tier list video on the Urban Legend tier list for Library of Runa. I mean, we're getting into the more, we're getting more uh, key pages as we, as we continue. So this is the first time we see two rows instead of the one row previously seen in Canard and Urban Myth. So this is the first time that we actually get a bunch more variety in the different pages and still though you don't get much uh, with the with that speed two that uh, speed two pages so the only speed two page is down here i can roll up it's the olga page before the lt the, i mean the start of lt for those of you who don't know what LT is, go back, go and see my video or <laughs> go on the subreddit and see what LT is. But I do have a whole pl uh, run a playthrough of the Library of Luna game. Uh, if you want to check that out, there is a link in the descriptions for the whole playlist. Okay, so we're gonna start with the beginning with grade eight fixers these are we're getting into like the i think this is the first time we get have general receptions right maybe i'm wrong but anyways grade eight fixers now these are grades the first two are grade seven fixers okay never mind we have ax game members they're still Though there's still general receptions, I didn't even know until like afterwards that these they existed. So, I mean, there I'm just the tier will be just I haven't used them. I don't know how good they are. They probably don't. They they're just optional since I never used them in my playthrough, and I got it done just fine. So it's. Uh, whatever okay we have grade 7 grade 7 grade 7 grade 8 grade 8 okay oh we have grade 7 page 1 2 and 3 grade 8 1 2 and 3 i mean still doesn't matter too much what is that Dino's page. Well, Gilmi is pretty good, but oh, you do get for the speed, speed not uh, speed one uh, on Gilmi's page. Dino, it's good at this point. You do still have some fatal, some weak uh, resistances on the pages. But you do get, like for Olga, for example, all her uh, resistances are injured or normal. So you do start to get uh, some of these pages that don't have a clear weakness. Yeah, I haven't used them. I will put Olga like up here because... And then I will put Gyomi. This is Gyomi. No, that's not Gyomi. Yeah, no, no, this is Gyomi. Probably you will need it to use both of them in conjunction with Mars page from the previous level, from the urban myth level. Yes, Olga's page. Also, like margin is pretty good. Uh, at the end of the scene, restore one light and draw one page. It's one page if the hand is empty. But at this point, I don't think you should like emptying your hand very quickly. The fights might not be that difficult, but it's uh it, you might still run off pages to use because you are using two of them every single turn, and then you do only draw. I think you do draw one page every single turn. The light situation it's the more concerning part. Beginning of the game, there you don't have that many good light regeneration cards, so this passive would help you with that. Okay, next we have. Okay, we're gonna let's do the two Olga pages. Mika's page, best choice, recovers three HP when, whenever the character discards a card. This is good for. I mean, this you would use this. You will only use this in a discard deck, 
but at this point it's so early that it's not good and normally it's you, you would only offensive or defensive passives normally recovering hp especially only three hp is so insignificant that it's just not good and then uh rains page in times in times like these if three or fewer pages are in hand at the end of the scene gain one strength next scene that's good but only maybe as a passive give that passive to olga you get you gain an extra strength and then olga draws you a page if your hand is empty and also provides you with light so that there is a combo there going and then the game started starting to give you combo materials so that you can uh, combo your pages together um so for these two i think uh i don't i haven't used them but their passives uh, can be used i think at, at this point you do unlock the passive you do have the passive attribution thing unlocked so the real game starts right here okay next uh, we have okay this is a gr other grade 8 fixer and then we have Sway, Sway Association. We have Walter, Julia, and Sway Fixer, generic page. So like this, Walter. Let's see what what. No no no, that's not water. This is water. Walter, Julia, oh, Isadora, also Isadora, so Walter has the speed dice, so we'll, we'll, we'll put it there, I mean, I'm just putting speed dice, of course, having two dice is so much better than just one dice, it's just twice the number of dice, you can do one-sided attacks, you're killing the enemies faster, it's just so much better. Julia has slash damage plus one. Oh, also water has uh, defensive dice power plus one. So whenever you're defending, you're just more guaranteed to to succeed. Um, Isadora has slash stagger damage plus one. So I mean they're good, but. Uh, <laughs> They're good, but they're not great. And then we will put this. This way fixer page actually has pretty good resistances, and the passive gives you an one HP one when you win a clash. The winning one clash is actually as up. So I will put it in C rather than D. Uh, and finally we have. No, we wait. What? Okay, Son. On clash win, boost the max value of the next die by plus three at a twenty-five percent chance. We will put it here because it's um the extra the chance to get extra dice, the the chance to get extra power on the next dice. It's pretty good, but in the grand scheme of things. Relying on clash, on winning clashes is not a good thing. You shouldn't bet on your clashes to win because most of the time your clash, I mean not most of the time, like at 50% of the time you're gonna lose the clash. So it, it's the kind of thing that 50% of the time you're not even gonna trigger the, the, the clash win. Uh, so it's yeah it's, uh, it's just not good uh these are their stray dog okay i did dino before zulu deep breath at the start of each scene restore one light at 25 percent chance you should build your decks with light in the very beginning even though you might not have light problems but i think you should at least start to think about light 
because light is a very big problem uh, in the late game. So always, always think about light. Wait, where did? Oh, I, I think it's right here. Okay, yeah. Uh, stray dogs page. Blunt damage plus two. I mean these pages down here and the D tier, uh, you can definitely use them. Uh, you can of course also use their passives. Just an extra damage, extra uh, two damages. They they add up, so you should uh, have some your passive attributions filled, regardless of like if they're just if they don't seem that good um because in the beginning every single bit of damage would add would count towards the overall fight and remember like the if it's like slash damage plus one you're slashing so many times throughout the fight you're slashing like a lot of times and then that damage just adds up one damage per, per slash that's like six damage per six for six flashes um so it does add up all right and with that we have done the urban legend pages the next part is the urban plague and we are getting into the good pages the next pages are where you actually get some uh, extremely good pages that you will be obviously will be using for uh, a long time throughout urban led uh, urban uh, nightmare uh, sometimes you why you might want to refer back to the urban uh, plague uh, pages those pages will be the the key pages <laughs> the the good pages the, uh, of the key of these key pages so with that all being said thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do consider subscribing and liking the video i will see you guys tomorrow and for those of you who are watching the future there is a playlist right beside this video that has all of the tier list videos that I have done in the past so click on that and I will see you guys there peace